Hi guys, and welcome back to another plot review. I don't know why I said that weird. That's because I'm trying to think about what I was actually saying. Anyway, what are we actually doing today, guys? Uh, we're having a look at another one of the crom uh, Christmas competition plots. Um, so this one's actually by C. Bumper, and is a Christmas school. So the story is apparently school can be even more boring when no one is there because it's Christmas. That does mean you can just sit around and do what you want and no one will stop you. I think it means that doesn't mean or something. I don't know. Anyway, I think this is like Simba Pussy Bumper's one of these only real modern plots, I guess, because I've only seen him really do medieval. He does medieval really well. He does big stuff really well. Firstly, awesome, awesome Christmas. Uh, not Christmas, that's school bus. This is brilliant. Like, um, school bus is at least American ones. We always see them as Ameri uh, like yellow, um, at least in the UK. Like, UK school buses, they can just be any colour. There's no like specific type or colour. They're just a normal big square bus, really ugly. But American ones usually have their own colours, like they use yellow, but this is actually using orange, and then you can use occasion. That's really clever. Um, I really love it. I love it how he's just changed it so that he can actually make it work. So school bus is all parked up. There you go. Too cool for school, as you can see. Um, and then we've got this kind of cool thing. This I really like. I like the actual design of it. It's different. So it's using brick and stone brick. Um, let's just walk in here. Actually, let's, let's have a fly around first. I think that's more important, isn't it? If you have a fly around, so... Pretty boxy, but that's kind of what they are if you have a, a basic one. It's also got like a chapel type bit in it as well so maybe it's like kind of a Christian school. I like that bit though. That's the medieval coming out in him. You couldn't resist. <laughs> there we go. So that's what we've got. One like this. And there's also a courtyard and we'll see all of that bit in a second. Really love these uh, solar panels and also love how on the other roof he's, he's made them all, you know, so they're all facing the same direction. I've seen it before guys where um where people have done them on that side, then they've done them on the other side, and you always do it on the, on the side that's got the most sun. Now, come on, that's pretty good. So, yeah. Anyway, let's jump down here. So, what we've got first, we've got, obviously, we've got a skate uh, thing here. No, it's not. It's a gate. So that's just a simple little gate that comes across there. Um, this is quite medieval, really. Brings you into a courtyard. We've got some bins out here. This is the big bins. Um, gigantic Christmas tree, which I think is pretty cool. Using the most hideous block in the world, the gold block. I hate this block in flows. But it actually works kind of here for weird baubles. So, alright, I'll, I'll accept that point. Uh, let's go into this building. We've got like, oh yeah, we've got benches, we've got bins around and stuff. Um, lots of benches and bins. And that would actually be, as, as far as a school goes, you could watch out for the kids quite easily around here. You know, you can literally just stand in this corner here if there wasn't a tree. Uh, and you'd be able to see them. So, pretty good. Right, anyway. Let's go into this building. So what do we have in here? We have the corridor. Uh, we've got upstairs. We're not going to do upstairs yet. We'll go down here. That actually gets, We're going to go downstairs. We're going to the archives. Wow. Now, I've got a feeling that Sea Bumper is not, like, in English or American. I think he's Dutch, Danish, something like that. So the archives probably means library for us. Um... Possibly. But same kind of word. There we go. Got some little seats here. We've got the toilets, I'm guessing. Yep. Some little toilets. Cool. They all work. And uh, what the hell's down here? This is going to be to the outside, isn't it? Fire escape, actually. Probably is a fire escape. That's actually really good. Good thinking. We've got the girls' toilets in there. Don't need to get in there. We've got A. A0042. I guess we've got some little chairs here. So these are like little desks. There's a green board. Okay, that's different. We've got some books up there. Cool. Definitely classroom. Pretty cool. Um, the only one thing I would say is that these end walls are all like brick and stone brick. So I think they would have been coloured. Like the outside walls here doesn't really matter too much, but I think these ones would be definitely coloured in with something. Uh, so to make them a different colour. There we go. We've got another classroom in here. So this is like a big classroom where they all do some like collaboration or something. A uh, teacher would stand up here. Is that again a green board? Is that what people have these days? It's weird. I mean, I haven't been to school for ages, so. I got no clue. Um, I actually might go upstairs for this one as well. To see if we can finish this off as a building. But I like this, like, divider thing. And the drop down. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Because you go up and then you go down. It's weird, but good. And then have a little bench thing. Uh, like hooks. So why would they have those? I've got a coffee machine. So maybe the teachers are up on this part. Now we've got another classroom. I'm not too sure about cloth coffee machine, I think. That my kids are kids are nuts, nuts as they are. So, but it could just be that could actually just be a drinks machine, to be honest, or a vending machine, which you do get in schools. Or at least I did have them in secondary school. We had, we had a vending machine. 
Uh, and then this, oh, this one's really cool. I like this. This like lecture theatre type one. That's wicked. We've actually, uh, when I was in school, we actually had one like this, and it was just like a classroom that was just. Uh, I think it was just built on a weird hill or something, or they couldn't build underneath it for some reason. Uh, so it was actually raised up a bit, and they just used it to their advantage. That's really cool. I like that. And there we go. So that's that's block or whatever. Just zoom down here and zoom down here. And we'll jump out. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. This is the chapel part of it. So, B001. B0.01. Very specific names. Oh, this is this has got a bit older, I think. Just the way it's a bit more formal. Um, so there you go. It's a bit more formal. Bigger board as well. More maths. More maths on that one. There you go. There's a teacher's desk and they've got a... Um, I don't know what that is. But they've got it. There we go. Got that. And then here, got the actual chapel. There we go. So quite Christian school. There we go. And up here, priest's lounge. That's where the priest lives. Okay, P priest lives in the school. I'd be a bit worried about that, you know, because of the stories. Uh, but look at him. He's got a really fancy bathroom. Look at this. That's pretty fancy. Look, there's a the little window in there. I kind of like that, actually. That's kind of cool. Got that. And then he can climb up this little ladder, which will get him probably into the bell tower or something. Nope, into a storage place. In this side, uh, it would have been nice to have a bell tower, maybe. Not really a bell tower, but just a bell. That'd be cool. And um, yep, that's it. Cool. So that's a bit different. So maybe this is like the maybe it does like religious studies or something like that, and he's just a Christian teacher. But you would expect them to do a uh, multitude. At least my school used to do like all of them. Well, I say all of them, all of the main religions. And actually, I've just you know this back place here. I guess you could put your bikes in here. Maybe, maybe that's where you put your bikes in. I went back, back at back section there. Kind of, kind of. Cool. Um, there we go. I also like this like ivy type stuff growing up on this side. Over here, a couple more like things where it's raining, you can still sit outside or whatever. Okay, they enter this building. So grills. Okay. Oh, girls. <laughs> that's definitely grills. That's men. I think it'd be boys and girls rather than men and girls. That'd be very creepy if you got gigantic men and little girls. That would be very very creepy. Okay, there we go. We've got another one here. So what's this? This might be something where with the, the stonework could be something different. I think it's paper. It's actually quite a good idea, just putting a little bit of wool on it. Good idea. Uh, that's upstairs. Okay, let's go downstairs. So we've got C002. Another one. Okay. Would have been nice to have signs on, just saying random stuff. Um, an El Presidente. Okay. Is it like a Spanish school then? <laughs> Why is it snowing in, a sp in Spain? I don't know. Does it snow in Spain? It can't snow in Spain. Of course, it's too hot. Probably. I'd expect it to. Anyway. And then down here we got another one, which is Oh, that's the cafeteria. For real. There we go, look at that. Nice carpet designs. Nice hallway. Um there you go, you got all the food just cooking in here. Got like baked potatoes and stuff, this be here and just slab it on. That'll be it. And then another coffee machine which is probably just drinks and stuff, so that is pretty cool. There we go. Now we went into that El Presidente, didn't we? Did we go into El Presidente? Yeah we did. I can't remember what I was going in. Yeah, I did. Went in here, didn't I? Ugh, God. My ring's gone. Right, okay, so that is that. Let's go upstairs. Next level. Some next level stuff. Right, okay, what have we got up here? We've got. Okay, this is weird. Oh, so that gets you to roof access. Okay. So, okay, we've got, like, some. Yeah, all the solar panels and stuff. So, that's just a roof access for that one. I don't know if we can go to that one. Probably not, but, you know. Good idea, though. I really like this. It's really cool. More people need to do those for, for buildings that do seem to have a roof. We've got another classroom in here. There we go, smaller one. Simple though. A little bit, little bit simpler than the other ones. I prefer the other ones. I think they have more depth and stuff in them. So there we go. And another one here. So this one is very different. See, this one's got style. This one's got its own style, even though that is probably supposed to be like that. Yeah, it's most likely to be like that. This one's got more style in it. It just feels a bit different. And I like the ceiling as well. And there, and weird little wraparound benchy thing, which goes over just snow. Um, okay, we've got that. Another one over here. So this is art class. That's very cool. All the easels. I like that. I really like that. And then up here, probably supplies and stuff. Got that. I haven't seen that painting before in flows. That's really cool. Okay. And then we've got here. This is like a big classroom. Then, and through that classroom, there's another classroom. So that's. Meh. Design-wise, not great, but at the same time, because of the plot size, fair enough. 
five. There you go, guys. There's an actual school, so it's different. Um, I actually really like it, Super Bomb Pie. I think you should try out modern and give it a go. Just I think interior interior walls. Um, just need to have a play around and make sure you get some colours in there. Especially with schools, uh, they usually, well, depending on what you know age your kids are, uh, will be quite colourful, but still very very cool. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.